Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, it's this makeup tutorial. It's not this makeup tutorial. It's this makeup look right here. Um, I'm doing a tutorial on it using only no cosmetics makeup. So if you haven't seen my unboxing that I did the other day for you guys, you might want to check that out as well. Um, it's basically me just unboxing all these makeup from no cosmetic that I want in a giveaway. So go ahead and check that out because I want so much stuff from them and I know you'll be excited to see what I want. But in today's video, it's basically this look right here. So hope you guys enjoy. If you want to see how I achieve it, just keep on watching. Alright guys, so I do notice that Note didn't send me like a primer or a face moisturizer because I don't think they have one in their line. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my face moisturizer from Neutrogena and this one is like my all time favorite for the summer and the spring time. So I do switch up my face moisturizer if you're wondering. Now for primer, I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Primerizer. For brows today, I'm going in with their Note Eyebrow Pencil in number 2. And then in the inner part, I'm going in with their number 3, which is light brown. I love how it goes on nicely. And it could just be like a natural looking brows or if you want more of a dramatic brow, you could just fill it in a little bit more. To fill in my inner brows, I'm going in with the light brown one. So this brow pencil, I really like it for just like a natural look. Now I'm gonna go in with the concealer just to fix up my brows. And the concealer I'm using today is the Note Mineral Improved Cellular Regeneration Skin Relaxation Concealer with SPF 15. This is what it looked like. It has like the tube on top. I do kind of understand like the tube for under your eyes because it is kind of cooling but um, what I don't like is when you open it you have to be like careful because it does get quite messy if you do accidentally like press on it or anything so right off the back I could tell like this concealer is not thick at all so I'm just priming the lid with the same concealer that we used earlier for the brows I usually set my concealer with a loose powder which they don't have so I'm just gonna go in and use my Laura Mercier. A lot of their eyeshadows are not matte um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this one. This is their mineral eyeshadow in 301. Now I'm going into the luminous silk quadro eyeshadow and I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this shade right here so I'm just gonna put that right onto my eye socket and then go from there so this one it's number 102 and I'm just gonna go ahead and use this shade right here so if you guys are wondering what kind of like pigment these are the pigment of these eyeshadow it's also really good like they're really soft. Look at that. They're like so nice. It's not dry or powdery at all. So I do really like that about their eyeshadows. I'm just going to go ahead and put this onto the crease. Now I'm going into the darkest shade right here. Now I'm going to this Luminous Silk Mono Eyeshadow. This is in number 10. And I'm just going to apply this on the inner corner and also on the outer corner. Now I'm going into this Luminous Silk Mono Eyeshadow in number 12. Just to darken out the 
inner corner and the outer corner. To cut the crease, I'm going in with the concealer I used earlier. So I'm not going to do a full cut crease. I'm just going to put the concealer like right in the middle just to create more of a halo eye makeup look. Now going to this eyeshadow palette, I'm using this baby blue right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and place that right on the middle of where I have the concealer. Now I'm going into this palette right here. And then I'm going into this shade right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and put it right next to the baby blue that I have in the middle. So this eyeshadow, it doesn't like have a lot of fallout like that. I really don't see any fallout on the face after applying all the colors to the eyes. So I do really like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on to eyeliner. And the eyeliner I'm using today is the Note Ultra Black Dip Liner. So this eyeliner, it's not my type of eyeliner. I like more of a thinner tip. And this one, it's thin, but it's a little bit stiff. So I think this one's like perfect for beginners who are just learning how to do their eyeliner. But me, I prefer like an eyeliner more of a thinner tip where you can also bend it when you do your liner. <laughs> Alright, so for foundation today, I have the Luminous Moisturizing Foundation and the Detox Protect Foundation. I think I will use the Detox and Protect Foundation. So I have to do a voiceover because my daughter, she was asleep next door and I didn't want to wake her up. But as you can tell, this foundation has a really nice coverage. I want to say it's about like a medium to full coverage. If you build it up, it could be like a super full coverage foundation, which I do really like. It also leaves my skin looking flawless. So I do love that about this foundation. It doesn't feel heavy at all. Really nice on the skin. And then for concealer, I'm going in with the same one that I used for the brows and the eyes earlier. And what I like about this concealer is that it's super lightweight as well. It's not heavy. Um, the coverage of it, it's not full. It's it's like super lightweight so if you are not into those lightweight concealer I don't recommend this one but this one does leave my under eyes looking super flawless so I do also like that about this concealer So I'm setting it with my Laura Mercier translucent powder just because their line doesn't have a translucent powder. I do notice that it left like a white cast under my eyes and wherever I did like leave the powder. Now going to this face powder in the shade Sad, I'm just setting the whole face and I like how everything looks because this powder in the foundation, it just came together so nicely. It doesn't look cakey or powdery at all. It just looks super flawless and I didn't even set my face with the setting spray. Now I'm just going to go in and dust off the excess powder from the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And as you guys can tell, this is the white cast that I'm talking about earlier. It did left like a super white cast on the face, but after bronzing and everything, the look did come together. So I'm not really like tripping off of that. To bronze up the face, I'm going in with this bronzer that they have sent me. Um, the name of everything will be in the description box for you guys. So I'm just bronzing up the face, the head area, the chin area, and also kind of contour my nose with this bronzer. I wish they would have sent me like a little contouring powder. I think that would be so awesome. <laughs> but then I don't have that, so I'm just going to contour the face for this look. Now going into blush, I'm using this one. This is the Luminous Cell Compact Blusher in number 8. And I love how it gives me this natural blush shade because I am using blue on the eyes. And then going in with highlighter, I'm using this one for highlighter and this one is so freaking bomb. I even did a swatch for you guys um, when I was doing the unboxing and I am so in love with this highlighter. It's like super bomb as you guys can tell. 
Now going into this Quadro eyeshadow palette, I'm using this shade right here. And I'm just going to pop that under the eyes. And then blend it out with a little pencil brush. And just keep doing this until I get it to like the shade I want. Now going to this blue right here from this eyeshadow palette, I'm also going to pop that on top of the first shade. And just kind of build that up to the shade that I want. Now going into this blue smoky eye pencil, I'm just going to put that on the waterline. And guys, this one, it's so pigmented. I freaking love it. Going in with this Lash Master Mascara, I'm just going to go ahead and coat my top lashes. And kind of prep it for my false lashes. I really don't have lashes for mascara, but I'm doing this part anyways for you guys. For lashes today, I'm using this one from my boutique. It's in this style 2 Dolly. And then going in with this lip liner, I'm just going to outline the lips. And then go in with their Matte Moist Lipstick. The name will be in the description box for you guys if you are curious. I'm fucked up, I'm black and blue I'm built for all the abuse I got secrets that nobody, nobody, nobody knows I'm good on that bitch. 